Hello there. Today, I'm going to be talking to a good friend of mine, and I must warn you now, there may be the sound of a puppy every now and again playing with toys in the background. That is a puppy. Whatever the toys sound like, it is honestly a puppy playing with toys in the background. Uh, whether it may be a squeak or a squelch, it is definitely a puppy making that noise. Um, and she's causing trouble all around the place. So, uh, welcome to my good friend, who I've been trying to get to talk to on the record for many, many a moon. And has finally agreed to talk to me in some way, or let me uh, talk to him. Monkey, say hello to people. Hello. <laughs> people enjoy that. Hello to people. Hello to people. So, first of all, I'm going to talk to you about something that is very particular to you, a curio to me, your upbringing as a Jehovah. What was that like? What was like? What was it like to be part of the world of Jehovah? The world of Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know, right? It's just, it's just normal, mm-hmm. isn't it? You don't really know any different, so you just see it as like everyone you hang around with thinks the same way. Yeah, tells you the same stuff over and over again. So of course you're gonna just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's normal. When did you start um, coming across more people who who weren't Jehovah's? Uh, well, like in school, obviously, I went to school with people with, with, with humans, with everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I was the only Jehovah's yeah. Witness. Well, there was one other guy in my. Was that? High was, school. Did, did that give you some like ounce of pride, or like, did you ever feel? And I not feel. I'm not suggesting that you ever felt like you were Lord and it above being a Joho, <laughs> a Jehovah Lord Witness. Above. Sorry, not sure if that's um, a banned term to use about the Jehovah's Jehos. That uh, I, I do. Yeah, that's a derogatory term. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> I don't think they like it. Well, they will. They they, they are full. Uh, they, they're they're likely to uh, stand as witnesses against me. I'm oh sure. Oh my lord! Yeah, I was looking for a way in, and I just had to stop it. And just yeah, I have to roll back. So, what is Jehovah's Witness? What is it? The, what is it? What, what, what the hell, hell is, is it? Because I mean, you stop being There's a no Jehovah. Hell in it. <laughs> At what age did you start being a Jehovah? I suppose about 15 or 16. 16. Maybe about was when it, I made it official anyway. Okay, 16 Probably when you made it official. Probably a few years before yeah. that. You were a secret. I was a secret, living a double life. Living a double life outside the, the watchtower. In the world. <laughs> outside the walls. What what was it? Was was it like? Does it when when you got out of there, or in years now, when you look back on it, do you see it as a religion, or do you feel it more culty? Um. Well, at the time, I felt it was just a religion. There was like they got some mad teachings. They like there's no blood transfusions allowed. Yeah, which that's is pretty crazy. That does seem crazy. Because of this one verse, which says once the blood is out of the body, it has to be poured on the ground as an offering to God. You can't reuse it for anything. Well, I can understand so, that. You can't God, even make sausage out of it. God needs the blood on the ground. God needs the blood as an offering. It's very strange that God needs the blood on the ground. Yeah, you got to pour it on the ground. Woo. As an offering to him. Well, that's a that's a. But that's a minor. That's a minor thing. It's just a, a minor few, little aggressive. Minor little thing that kills some people. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they don't have blood transfusions because yeah, well. they refuse it and die. Maybe but, they're so, right. Spiritually, that's faith, isn't it? That's yeah, faith. Yeah, 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 that's that proper faith. Nice. Showing your faith. No, I'd rather die. So, break did you did rule. you know anybody who um like had that sort of like not being able to have? I didn't actually know anyone personally that died because of that doctrine itself but you know it does happen mm-hmm. yeah. um, what else do they believe no Christmas no birthdays none of that stuff that was that was fun but your mum must have broken those rules well yeah sort of we had this little family thing where instead of well obviously we couldn't have we didn't give presents for Christmas or birthdays so we do anniversary a wedding anniversary mm-hmm. instead um, oh, which oh was just wow! After Christmas. Oh wow! So it's like I uh, do my and wedding instead of yeah, like normally all about you buy me says gifts mommy. for the bride and groom. But I do know Monkey's mum, and she's a very nice lady. Yeah, she's cool. a very nice lady. Um, and yeah, she wasn't too intense with it. That was the good thing when I was a kid. She wasn't too mad on it. Do you think that's what keeps people in these sort of um, religious organisations that are on the brink of? Um, 
I'm not. I'm not sure that they'll in a hundred years Jehovah's Witnesses will exist anymore. You know, mm. I think they they may be on the brink of. I don't know. It's it's quite it's growing in China quite quickly apparently. Oh, oh God! Well, in that case, then it's an ever expanding market. But yeah, it's strange. That's a strange one. Um, where is it most mo- most uh, prevalent? Because I know that in France there was lots of Jehovah's Witnesses. I, in the I South. haven't. To be quite honest, I haven't kept a track of it. <laughs> <laughs> that much of a track of where they're going. Well, you know, it started in America out. and it spread to like. Europe and the Do you know who countries? started the Jehovah's Witnesses? Is it Rutherford? Something Rutherford? And 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 what 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 was he's, the point was of a, it? He was a triangle he man. He was a triangle. <laughs> he was a triangle. We'll, we'll just say that. I think everybody knows what that probably means. <laughs> yeah, but, his yeah. gravestone. His grave is quite something to look at. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you. He's got symbols all over it. Of course, um, uh, they used to make him wear purple triangles in the concentration In the camps? Camp. Yeah. <laughs> Jehovah's How long does it take us? <laughs> yeah, how long does it take us before to we're talking about the concentration camps? Uh, I didn't history. bring up the Holocaust. <laughs> I know, I know. I do it all the time. I'm sorry. You spend most of your time like trying to avoid it, but World War II, it's still front page news. But yeah, the culty stuff, whether it's a religion or a cult, is obviously debatable, but because what's they stop mean, you seeing anyone who's not part of the religion, um, or they try and do that mostly. What is their belief? What makes them different from the rest of them? You know, I mean, uh, did they believe in the crucifixion and all of the Bibles? Well, stuff? yeah, but not on a cross. What? <laughs> yeah, on a stick. Oh, <laughs> a steak. A, a steak. Yeah, that's the oh, big. That's the big that's, difference. That's hardcore. It's still a crucifixion, but it's straight up. None of this arms out to the side nonsense. Oh, all right. Was he hammered to the to his arms, hammered to the post? Hands across each other and bo- yeah, oh. nail through both hands above his head. Oh god! And then feet crossed. Same. Sense. Okay. So just to because it takes too long to die if you hold him out to the side. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But I thought that was part of the that would be part, part of the, of the process. The, yeah. But maybe that's, but that's part just, of the 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 saga that that keeps it uh, uh, romanticized in the stories. Romanticized. Yeah, brutalized. it's some mad, it's like archaeological thing which they've discovered, I guess, to to back up this one idea that that's not how the Romans did it ever. So that's cross. one of the differences there that we've got. We've got that it wasn't on the cross. Despite it, it be, despite it being in the name crucifixion <laughs> yeah 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 they, they were like, it's a pretty tough sell to be quite honest know, but the way. jehovah's sound like they, they were trying, they were they were they were really trying to sell some big stuff they give it a go they they do um so so what was meant to happen that, that defines jehovah's witnesses and um and their teachings what was meant to happen like uh, for, for us we've got the apocalypse or for us i say that like uh, I'm, I'm i'm ex-religious um excommunicated well there's it's still based on the bible so they've got revelation and uh, armageddon and all that the final battle yeah okay but, uh, so they're still frogs it's still <laughs> it's still frogs and uh mice um but the so, yeah, end they have of a, the world is there's a when? big old battle a tribulation <laughs> right, it's supposed to be 1914 because this is it. the i mean i already know this i i i, I love the um I love the, the, the this bit about uh, religions where they start to become entangled because someone put a date put on it. Put an actual it. prediction in. I yeah. mean, who puts the date on things? Mind you, what was it? It was supposed to end in 1914, and yeah, it and could be said it. World War One then was like some form of start sort of, of the tribulations that would last well, over. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe we're uh, in the end the, times the right now. The free antichrists or whatnot. And that all was of the start them. of the end times, exactly. Um, but uh, when it didn't happen, obviously, people were a bit like... It. Yeah, they bumped it. Postpone so it. They postponed it to when? Oh, they keep postponing it. <laughs> they postponing keep postponing it. Don't they? they got postponed into the twenties, and then, yeah. and now it's just like a constant rolling apocalypse like date, which uh, yeah. never comes to fruition. That I I I thought that would stop it growing rather than um, seem to help in its Apparently advance. Not. Yeah. People. Suppose the world going to shit around people's ears is an easy way. It makes their job a bit easier. Because oh, yes, they yeah. can go, look at this, it's obviously the end times. Look how fucked the world is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, they, there's a final battle between Jesus and the devil, and God and the devil and that, and they just duke it out. Slug it out. Slug it out. Old smack each other school. Uh, well, as old school as it gets, God yeah, and the devil. I mean, that's, that's slug really, out. That's, that's a real old fashioned there. And he gets his ruin smote upon the mountainsides and tossed down, oh. locked in the 
Say, the, say that again. Smoked the, along the, the mountainside. You say. Me. I liked it. And then, yeah, he gets locked away for like thousands of years. And the earth is transformed into a paradise. So he doesn't get killed. No one, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, no one okay, finishes the job. <sighs> you see that fucking Halloween movie? Yeah, the, Jehovah's rest. Witness Part 4. No one ever finishes <laughs> Michael, Michael Myers is back and he's a Jehovah's Witness again. They had him down <laughs> and they let him live. Yeah, what can you do? Stupid. Um, so yeah, that's what he does. The original mistake. Let him live. Yeah. So, so the... the Obviously, it's not happened. <clears throat> Didn't happen. It, it, people. Well, no, I guess murder though. On this. Uh, Tell me more. On this uh, Armageddon stuff, because after yeah, the Earth is turned into a paradise, and everyone's resurrected, all the good and the bad, and they're judged, and then all the good people are allowed to live on the, this planet. Which has been turned into a paradise. Oh, right. What, the planet we're living the on planet, now? Yeah, planet so, Earth. So, wait, wait one second. Wait one second. I, I just got to ask this question. Does that mean that there's, like, multiple planets in Jehovah Witness? If they they define this planet itself as being a particular place, or is this planet as um, relative to this a world, heaven? This world. This right. world. Yeah. The yeah. Earth, rather than the heavens. Yeah. The Earth will be transformed. Yeah. Whether that means this planet or the I Earth just get to see if they went to. Uh, no, there's none of that well. stuff. There's none of that stuff. Not that, 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 I don't. I didn't pay enough money to the firm to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, why can I never afford I can to find never out the, the truth? Proper secrets. Yeah, I know. I can never afford the knowledge. It's almost like no one actually knows anything. But 144,000 people. The anointed, yeah. the chosen ones. So me, you, and 143,999,990 Go upstairs. Eight people, yeah. To be with Jesus. Okay. And rule with him over uh, this paradise. Any mention of this puppy? I don't know why they need ruling over, because these people are like, yeah, given the eternal life. One, so. No, no, the anointed are doing the oh, ruling. Right, okay. Everyone oh. else in heaven with Jesus. Everyone else is on earth on the uh, paradise earth oh wow oh. living it up oh. like the whole world turned into a garden <laughs> of eden what? we're all just swanning about Woo! what this is like like the rest of the people so the hundred forty four thousand go up to be administrators in the cloud exactly and the other seven Everyone and else. a half billion or however many are left all after the, the whole history the whole, the whole of the people who've ever lived on this earth wow that's who have people. heard the word of Jesus oh and to that's him. less people yeah. and you really started to narrow down it's the a bit thing tight, there. It? yeah <laughs> I know well the thing is is that Jesus and I'm pretty is, sure you've got to be white <laughs> no, I'm jo- no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, there's plenty I'm of because um, China, obviously, that's they, extra. They, they must be like you know. Yeah, they've had they... to relax that rule now. <laughs> yeah, they've had to relax that rule. Was it like originally? Was it originally a very white religion? Is this something well, we're putting yeah, on ourselves? I think so. Pretty right. sure. Well, I suppose most most, most of the religions yeah. became white once white was m- where the money was. Yeah. Yeah, it was so. well. It was found, it was come up with a, by a white guy in America. So yeah. I think so. Well, America is full of some fantastic religions. It was a fantastic melting pot after the um people fleeing the persecution from England um after Mary the First and through Elizabethan times. Um it was it, it, the, the running away before the English Civil War meant that lots of the uh, religious uh religiously persecuted before all kind of like camped out in this one area and they all kind of like ended up massing around places like Rhode Island and stuff um and and the first colonies and there was lots of um new religions that popped up there all of a sudden these people who were living official authentic lives that were very close to puritanism with spice you know and i think so uh, as with Spaz Melange, the Spaz Melange. It's, it's Puritanism if you've been on the Spaz Melange. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, so, so, Jehovah's um, eventually everybody's having a party on earth. The administ- cloud administrators are all happy. What's the downside? Well, a thousand years goes by. Oh, and they let him out again. And and it, here they let we out go. the adversary. Oh my God! And have another big battle. Yeah, here we go. Michael Myers comes out mm-hmm. again. 
And I think that's it. I think they finish him off this time. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, if they know they're going to do that, why don't they do it the first time? It's messed up, isn't it? I know, I know. This they is let people li- live on like, this plant, on this paradise. If you've got a prophecy, and then you got another prophecy that says you're not actually going to, f- f- you're going to fulfill the first prophecy. That means, but wait, to you could just, just, uh, fulfillment. just cut, cut it out. That's how it works. Cut so. out, sort him out. To, but you can still lose it. The guys on Earth, so on is Earth can Shadan? still lose it. Is this, is this Satan? Is this the, the great devil? Shadan. Is this the, washer, the washer. morning star? Yeah, is, yeah. Is, uh, ah, stop it, puppy. Um, it, it, this, this is the... The, the enlightened one. Okay. Um, yeah, he does need to be finished off. He needs to be... So, I don't I mean, think someone he, needs to sort that guy out. I don't think he gets covered by human rights, but I also don't think he gets covered by realism <laughs> but still the more i hear about him the less i like it <laughs> <laughs> i've heard that one before <laughs> about satan um so that's a very interesting uh unique look into uh a bit of uh, religion there isn't it i mean is got their fair share of pedophiles as well so pedophiles in jehovah's uh watchtower is um, as common as it is in all the other religious yeah. watchtowers. <laughs> files everywhere. Yeah. Um, Again, I didn't have any personal experience with this, thankfully. Yeah. And no one I knew. Well, closely I, knew, like, like. my own experience of being groomed, I was groomed in a society that was like a made-up fictional society <laughs> that was no knew it was a made-up fictional society and was reenacting battles from the 17th century so it's like it just takes an, a, a structure that allows for these people to gain access to kids that that allows for that um and then i think uh, ability to uh, or, or the, being forced to trust these people in some way because you share some sort of like identity with them. So we were in a regiment with the guy who grew me, and that so that that obviously gave him access in some way and some way, authority to be able to be left with children, etc. Um, so I, I I don't think that's necessarily just of religion, but it's not a surprise. Yeah. Um, but it's been quite a. Uh, 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 I mean, it's the same probably as the evangelical churches. They cover it up. They cover it up. Yeah, they they don't like to. They discourage people going to the police. Mm-hmm. They uh, don't believe the victims. They get the victims and the uh, and the alleged offenders like in the same room often to like have some kind yeah. of arbitration. God, I which is which is messed <laughs> up. I, yeah, I, it's not a surprise. That's not. A, but I remember it just reminded me of a. I was working in a hotel and uh, a guest punched me in the um it was a Hilton and the guest a guest punched me in the eye. Uh he was playing around, he was just he was talking about the box and someone was boxing box and he was just messing around. He he whacked me on the eye by accident when we were we were tussling and joking. And um and uh, my managers forced them to come back and wait for the police to arrive. If you know that, I was like, no, it was just a mess around. Let, I charges. let him go with thing. They forced him back, and then they sat him alone with me opposite in an opposite table on the patisserie area and just walked off. And this guy was just sitting there drunk, like, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm going to come and kill you. I'm going to murder you. And yeah. I was just like, this didn't need we've to handled, happen. This Buddy, well. I told him not to bring you back. I was like, I don't charges. mind. It's a tiny cut. And like, I kind of encouraged it with our <laughs> banter and our behavior. You already offered me money. And I was like, no, go. <laughs> just leave. It's, it's fine. And uh, and they, they, this guy still, he wanted to murder me. But yeah. That that that's that's what you get when you have those situations. I mean, it's it's obvious, simple intimidation, and it's really sad. What what saddens me about um, Jehovah's is that whenever I see them on the street, uh, they usually have like a little setup where they have like a little like miniature they've got little l- stalls now yeah little they're lemonade stands not allowed to knock on people's doors yeah yeah they got little lemonade stand like miniature lemonade stand looking stalls where they they uh they, they try and encourage people they always uh stick a couple of pretty uh ladies um sometimes uh, if they've got them <laughs> yeah if they got them well maybe my standards are lower you're i love them all yeah, you're lucky if you've seen them pretty ones um not an old ones they do tend to use uh, uh, ladies to try and attract uh, new people 
into the the flock um but i find that it's depressing then i have to talk to them and tell them that i'm not going to be a jehovah no <laughs> but i'm also wondering why they're still jehovah's after all of this because yeah. i mean like i say you have to talk to them uh, to the people <laughs> who are listening i've known monkey for a long time so i've heard this story and we talked about um uh, Jehovah's Witnesses before and I've looked into him in the past is a fantastic crossovers when you're looking into the past of mystical societies you get lots of crossovers with these things because um, these sort of organizations encourage and give ideas to other people who want to set up their own form of organization which will then give them power in some way shape or form because of course somewhere in Je- where does the power reside apart from um, with Jesus, with where, Jesus. <laughs> where does the power reside in um uh the world of jehovah's witnesses the uh kingdom. the bethel in place in america oh right okay in, i don't know pennsylvania so maybe? do they have um uh, a guy at the top do they have a big man at the top who's uh who's in control got, of most i'm not actually cut i'm not that sure actually they got like a council the like, council of elders i think mm-hmm. like a small group of dudes who like decide what gets published and who wow what the rules are and all that sort of stuff <laughs> so some sort of like a little microcosm the 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 propaganda wing of the red army like <laughs> yeah well, they pr- they got to print churn out this stuff every week this watchtower and awake magazine to give to yeah. people to like hand so that's out. really where the center of everything goes on and and there's, so there's nothing really democratic and not, not, not that i'm aspiring for everything to be democratic i think democracy has got his uh, flaws for sure but is there's nothing democratic nothing. about um the- there's everything the Democratic about it. Yeah, they don't yeah, give a yeah, shit yeah, about course, democracy. And there's dudes. Yeah, there's. It's the same as way they run the congregation. I suppose it's like there's like a small group of elders who, who uh, deal with like disputes or whatever. Right? Tell people off if they if they step out of line. Mm-hmm. And then there's everyone else. And God help you if you're a woman. You don't. You don't got a chance <laughs> of doing anything. And that's why I always find it so amazing that the women are out there and the ones who are. Yeah, they're below. They, well, they take it seriously. That whole Jesus is the head of the man and the man is the head of the household yeah. they take that shit seriously that so. I, I mean i've a got to be fantastically um i don't know if this is misogynistic or sexist or anything but um that is arousing <laughs> <laughs> i mean the thought of being looked after yeah, by yeah, a woman yeah, you can see like she's your some sort of like Servant, um, chattel property crypto whatever. mummy yeah, yeah. <laughs> that i could see how that is good for people. Um, yeah, you can it, see why it appeals to a certain type of mind. Yeah, yeah, and and, and I, I do you think that has an element of the reason why these religions work is that it, it, it be and I don't mean again to demean uh, people who are in it for for what they believe are real spiritual reasons, but it be all about the pussy. Could be. Mm. Most things are. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Think. Well, I think that I don't. I don't think that I. I can definitely not deny that. I think that lots of people are obviously motivated by their own um, happiness, and if there happiness. isn't anything that causes happiness, it's uh, it, happiness to be happy. Yeah, exactly. Um, There's uh, a lot of that. Yeah. But I, I always feel um, sorry for the ladies there because obviously they've got that mindset and that mindset comes with a lot of um, missed opportunities, I'd say. Would you agree with that? Is that us being presumptuous of, of female well, just waste a, We just waste a lot of like talent, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Half the talent, half the potential talent. Yeah. But then they, actually... they're talent. But you can go out, they can go out, they can still go out on the work. Yeah, yeah. The work. On the, the on work. The work, like they call it. <laughs> Do they call it that? That's what it's called, yeah. I, 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 I thought you had made some sort of a, a linguistic error in your speech. No, that's what it's called. You go out on the work. They wow. don't, like I said, they don't do it anymore. They stand with their trolleys. They don't knock on oh people's doors. So, so that when is I was there, the only to knock work on they can doors. do? Oh, no, no, no. That's no. just a, it's just a euphemism that they use. The yeah, work yeah. It just means going out. But other than that, evangelizing, spreading uh, the word, knocking on people's doors, saying, "Do you want these magazines? Are there any conflicts? The are there any conflicts between um, what what 
people are allowed to do within society what well, i mean apart from blood transfusions is it basically anything goes you can go work in the majority of non-jehovah businesses or is there something that's really out of the question like yeah of course you can't make black pudding maybe you can't uh yeah no black pudding you no. can't yeah no given blood transfusions anything like that anything involving blood yeah, you'd probably yeah. be discouraged from doing yeah discouraged but mostly you can go and work whatever job yeah as long as it seems like ethical from their standpoint i suppose doesn't break any of the biblical rules mm -hmm. then you're okay and there's but a lot not of them biblical rules shitloads of them to <laughs> skateboard around yeah but they um obviously they'll discourage you from be being friends with anyone of your work any of your work colleagues yeah you're, you're not supposed to associate with anyone who's not a jehovah's witness really no yeah you're allowed to do like the bare minimum in, in when you have to in work wow so yeah you're not supposed to associate with anyone who's not a jehovah's witness um, that is um which that is a sign of a cult i'd say yeah yeah one but, point on the cult uh, I mean, ding 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 cult scale <laughs> so one of the things um i experienced when i was young which uh, i think gave me an alternative view of religions in general that were like that or a, an alternative view in the sense that i didn't get that i didn't understand that straight away that some people weren't allowed to be associated with other people is that i had a friend called um two they, they were related they were cousins i think sumon actor and parabes actor and they were they were I love I loved them. We fought in school all the time, but we all, everybody fought in school. So so we had lots of fights, but but we were we were really uh, good friends. And I remember that we um they had Street Fighter on the SNES, and they were uh, a, quite a big family living in a fairly small house. Um, but I was invited in to go and stay with them to go and uh, I I slept in um, a bedroom with like. The parents, grandparents, like all of the kids, it was all just one big all bed, together. really, all just, all just like hooked up and in, pushed into the room. We had a little space on the side where the TV and the the the, the <laughs> SNES sat on a trolley. Or, Sounds cozy. Uh, yeah, it was. It was very. It was very cozy. But it was a it was a fine sleep. Who cares if you're having a fine sleep? I remember it being like different because I was I was well aware that this wasn't something that I was used to seeing. I was like, oh, well, we're all sleeping in here. Yeah all right then <laughs> you know i kind of was hoping that oh god i hope i don't wet myself <laughs> you know just just the worst thing that could happen <laughs> you wet yourself in a bed full of people it's much it's more embarrassing bad. than the, <laughs> but i was wetting myself all the time but you know everybody when they're young it wets themselves sometimes. you know <laughs> twice three times a day twice, three times <laughs> a night but i remember i remember um feeling that uh you know we woke up in the morning uh i will say that that i was all i i mean i i was used to oh, this sounds racist as well but it's it's not meant to be racist but i was used when we went down to the kitchen for breakfast it smelt really heavily of curry powder now they were a pakistani family maybe they went in northern indian like very very north indian um, mm -hmm. but i thought, always thought they were a pakistani family it was a really like really strong obviously they eat a lot of uh food from that region so it was a really like strong odor but i was used to that um so because my dad cooked curries all of the time my my granddad was one of the biggest fans of the indian community and their food mm -hmm. <laughs> when he was a pub landlord he, he loved going there and we all we all had indians all for our life my dad cooked indian food all the time so i was kind of used to that but i remember thinking oh it wouldn't be feel normal for other people you know curry for breakfast yeah yeah that sort of thing it wouldn't feel well they it wouldn't we, we had cereal just everything smelt like really like another country mm. because that's what you do when you go into well, someone's if you use houses spice, if you use spices they're gonna smell precisely use spices and the problem is like, like yeah, I, I was about to say like you know just simply as a as a clumsy line maybe um or, or maybe just a factual line that could be jumped on uh, as something that isn't meant to be like uh, i was uh, i was used to smell the curry so it didn't matter like for so many people they could change that and skewer <laughs> that but it's true that when you go into a house of someone from um another culture it's going to smell of their cooking it's like it's you can't get across it you go into a polish house where they cook polish food you're going to smell the fucking 
I'm going to smell like sausage. Yeah, you can smell <laughs> the Polish food. It's fucking awesome. Oh, no, it's the pastries that are the, the dog's bollocks. <laughs> like, everything will smell of their, 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 their pastries. Um, but, yeah, yeah, the fact is is that we... we I, I, I was very used to being around these sort of uh, different cultures and different religions, and I didn't really think about it. They were going mm. to a Christian school, and they were Muslim, mm. and there was no thought about what was right or what was wrong in that. It was like we were left to make up our own mind, even the, the, the kids. And I did. I never saw that there was... I, I never really understood how different a um, uh, uh, Muslim one's life, as they say in French, Muslim one, <laughs> um, uh, as a, a Muslim person's life was, because it just seemed like exactly the same. We hung out in the street, went to school in the same place. Yeah, they slept in uh, a room that was quite tightly packed, but not every Asian family were like that. These guys were a little bit poor and etc. Um, but they were also so kind to me, so welcoming. Um, there was, you know, I, I mean, that could be partially to do with their, their uh, necessity of religion maybe but I think it just came down to them being nice people who wanted to be nice to their uh, son's friends um, that is something that, that uh, had me like experience another world so to the idea and getting back to the main point you're saying is the idea um, in Jehovah's Witness that you can't be known well I, I've even it's known, isolation yeah, yeah, they want to isolate people separate them so you can't so you become less likely to encounter anything which will contradict their teachings. I would have initially thought that maybe like the majority of Jehovah's were more open to non-Jehovah's and say Muslims would be to people who don't practice um, uh, anything to do with uh, Islam. But in actual fact, it's like, it's, no. it, 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 yeah, it's, it, it, my experience is that, that Muslims are really welcoming and we've been given this feeling and this fear of them when in actual fact, it's probably more um, white based or heavily white religions that are some of the most closed yeah. societies. Yeah, they're an exclusive club and they don't, they encourage their members to stay within the walls and mm. stay within the comfort of the teachings because obviously if you're out in the world that's what happened to me I went out in the world I went to school I encountered other people other points of view that didn't think that the world was created by God and ruled over by a by a sky deity that can read your thoughts and needs praise and all that sort of stuff it must be impossible to overcome that challenge nowadays for these um religions because i, I mean you went to uh, the very famous witchurch high school in cardiff I did. um the high school of such superstars as gareth bale the mm -hmm. football player and uh, and sam warburton the rugby player and of course monkey mm -hmm. as well he went there <laughs> he was, he's always been very good at football and climbing trees <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, so, so it was a very, but it's Whitchurch is a non-religious school, isn't it? It's, yeah, no, um, yeah, no, no religion. It, it, well, what do you call that? Because I don't know. Because I went to religious school, uh, secular, I guess. Yeah, oh, secular, secular school. school. Of, course, of course, of course, I'm an idiot. Because um, every school I went to had saint in the title, mm. you know, and a lot of people have that experience. And then uh, one of my original primary schools now a Muslim school, so like like um, a lot of Muslim schools are just Muslims as well. So, so I mean. It must be hard for Jehovah's, seeing as they're small numbers in majority to the people around them, um, sending their kids out into the, what I suppose you class as the pagan world? The world, yeah. You just the, call it the world. The world. Don't You don't want to be part of the okay. world. You're Do they also call the themselves the gang? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I no. just thought I'd ask that. Um, so, so they they send you out to the world, and yeah, the world, it, Satan's world. Was it was it your mum's um, decision to put you into a secular school, or is it a? It's tosser? quite common, yeah. It's not. Uh, there's a bit of uh, homeschooling that goes on. I think more in America than in this country. Why not another religious school that shares a lot of the practices, but not one or two? I think that would probably be worse than a secular yeah, this, this school. Yeah, this is why I find from interesting. Point of view. Like, like um, an alternative. Yeah, 
Like if it might because you'd be more was, scared of um, uh, Saint Tylo's, which was Church of uh, Church of Wales. If if I mean that's a, a derivative of some fat king's uh, wet <laughs> dream. <laughs> so so uh, I, I can't be taken seriously, really. But what, t- sending them to a church in Wales school would be seen as bad, f- would it or worse? I would have thought. So. I just yeah, in my opinion, I think that would be. Worse, because at a secular school, there's so no... So just send them to no school religion. with the heathens. Well... <laughs> the complete heathens. <laughs> I mean, if you were. Yeah, it's easy, I guess it's easier to see a, have a us and them mentality then, if it's like you're the religious one and everyone else is a heathen, rather than in a religious school, you're just one of the religious ones. Yeah, yeah. A slightly different religion, and you'd be more likely to be assimilated into that yeah, way right. of thinking okay. than you would... It's much more of a mentality of like defense I, I i would think it's probably like all over the place a 60 40 here and a 40 60 here yeah and it's i don't yeah i don't know the stats of where people yeah, yeah. send their kids like i said there's a bit of homeschooling but not much and yeah all of my friends that i, I grew was up with went of, to normal of the state actual schools. result of what would what would happen because you got to lose as a religion like uh the jehovah's witnesses you've got to lose your numbers by sending them into the world. Yeah, being taught science. Yeah. Was what did it for me, I think. Yeah. Being taught about science. And a different way of looking at the world rather they, than just they, God made it all and they you ban don't ask any questions. They burn Bunsen burners. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking with that one. They burn Bunsen buns. Oh, oh, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so. Uh, that that's what that was what my next question was going to be personally on an individual level what was it that lost you what was the thing that that said jehovah's no more or was never was i don't know that's a very difficult question question i don't know exactly what it was like i say it was science it was educating being educated about a different way of seeing things way of looking at the world logic being given yeah that's the thing it, it my mum my always says it makes sense and it all makes sense until you think about it as long as you don't think about it yeah. and there's a lot of people who can just like not think about it and accept that and as it, as, an as a form of truth yeah, a form yeah, of yeah. their own version of the truth god that's uh... and I don't know I just couldn't do that anymore I couldn't reconcile all this stuff I'd been taught about yeah about the, the history of the world basically and creation and all that sort of stuff where where it all started from and was just being contradicted completely by what I was being told and yeah there was no way I could reconcile that in my mind yeah yeah um a, a question because I mean this is probably cross ex religious um I also went through uh i i got an opportunity to do that earlier i saw my opportunity i was um brought up as a protestant or whatnot and um and i didn't enjoy church and i got to uh the point where i was about 10 11 and i was about to be confirmed um and i slipped uh, skipped confirmation classes completely and then my parents were really unhappy and they managed to fraudulently get me into the high school without confirmation so i managed to get away with that i i was the only one in the family who wasn't baptized due to the fact that my um nan burnt the wedding the baptism cake and was crying the whole day and they had to call off the, the baptism i i didn't get certain elements of that and by the time i was 11 um that time around confirmation time my my i said to my parents you know um with my family around with my sisters around why are we going to church I don't understand this. This is terrible. It's like torture. So I just don't want to go anymore. Um, I prefer to stay home. My dad, my, the rest of my family just stopped going, apart from my dad, who just, it took him two weeks of going, and then he just stopped going. It's just like it took an 11-year-old in the house to say, okay, wh- what, is this? what we do in here? Um, but then after that, I uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say suffered, but I would say suffered. Um, I had I, I I found guilt manifest and fear. Did you feel the fear 
of wondering whether or not there is actually a God and that he may actually, because I, 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 even though I knew my belief, I couldn't get away from this feeling that this entity was watching me full time and completely like you know shaking his head with disapproval <laughs> the entire time did you ever get any of that i can't say i did I'm, I, I, no i don't remember feeling i i, I would say that i still that. feel it from now and again but but it, i mean it, it lasted up until i was in my early 20s i'd say that i felt this feeling that i i i was um like you in not believing you pissed off this thing you don't believe yeah a, a really yeah that's the thing i i think i yeah i don't know it sounds sort of arrogant to say but i think like you say it, it sort of proves i actually don't believe in a god <laughs> yeah. but i don't feel that feeling i think that's quite a com confirmation that yeah, i yeah. genuinely believe that there is no god that there can be no punishment from him because from him or it or whatever concept of god there is. There's did no you, supernatural power to judge and give give judgment, give punishment. So you were living um, a second life um, for a few years. Yeah, I was. And you were you were pretending that you were still a Jehovah, but you yeah, were listening 15, to rock and roll. Yeah, fifteen, <laughs> Buddy 16. Holly, Chuck Berry, <laughs> <laughs> all the classics. Yeah, <laughs> all the Satan's music. And um and how was it for your family? Because like I say, with my family, they just kind of conceded that I I I had a point, and it was all a load of bollocks. And I I think it it helped that by that time my um uh, dad's parents were both passed, um so it meant that they were the main that link. Yeah, that link made it meant that it's my gone. dad was just like, okay, well my my dad ain't gonna be pissed off with me about yeah. it anymore so i'm gonna stop, stop doing this. it um what were your what were your yeah what was your mum like well she was okay with it actually in the end but yeah like I, yeah i was living this life where i was still going to the meetings three times a week and still going out on the work and knocking doors and that's where you say i am a jehovah hello i'm a jehovah holic <laughs> and I'd like you to be one too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot different than the AA meetings, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, offer him the magazine, say, do you want to join, join the gang? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that, but it's a fantastic. It's like, that's the opening gambit all the time with Jehovah's Witnesses. Have you Can seen this see magazine? But this shit magazine. <laughs> yeah. It's boring as fuck. <laughs> you, you told me, because you, you, did, you did tell me once that there was um, a time where you... Uh, were, were, were there were times where you'd have to call on the houses of your school friends. Yeah, of course that would happen from time to time. So Knocking you, on them enough doors, you're bound to find oh, someone you know, oh, someone you go to school with. And you, how would you handle it? Well, I just roll on with a spiel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Programming keeps you, know, you going. Gotta just keep going, and then pretend not to be embarrassed, isn't it? That's all you can do. Just brazen it out, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, it's not the only yes. thing you can do. There's a lot of different ways you can react in that situation. Run away, scream and cry and do all sorts of stuff. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I don't know. It wasn't that bad. I didn't find it that bad. And no one really, like, gave me proper shit for it in school, yeah. which I was lucky, which is lucky, because I'm sure a lot of people got some, yeah, that some might, bad treatment. I think that if I had had that, in comp if I was a Jehovah in combination with my uh, pronounced front teeth, I would have been doomed. <laughs> I would have been doomed. They would have buried me. They, I would have been up on the stake, not the cross, the up stake. The stake with your hands above your head. <laughs> yeah. Reach for the sky. But uh, yeah, yeah. So um. So yeah, I was yeah, I was still going to meetings, still doing all that stuff, pretending to still believe it. But I was also discovering booze and fags and girls, mm -hmm. all three things forbidden. Yeah. <laughs> in the in the fold so the good stuff the good stuff <laughs> so so there yeah. was no way back there was no way back eventually i was going to have to admit that it was all over and there's this there's a form of baptism you don't have it when you're a kid in jehovah's witness religion you have it when you're like well between like yeah the young side is like 12 maybe and then anywhere up anywhere but about usually about 18 or 19 20 ish if you're not baptized by then, something's gone wrong. Um, 
And yeah, yeah, that's like the confirmation sort of thing. That's like, all right, I'm in it for keeps now. I mean it. You've <laughs> baptized real, me in this real. like an actual, like a covenant, like a, <coughs> a virtual covenant with God. That's mm-hmm. how they view it. So thankfully I got out before that stage ever happened was before that, I did was, it. Was that part of the reason you got out at that stage? I think so, yeah. It was, it was coming was to coming. crunch time, yeah. It was coming <laughs> to like splish splash time or get the fuck out the dodge time. So, Mm -hmm. and yeah, my mother was like, I asked her, should I do it? Should I get baptized? And she said to me, if you have to ask me, then it's a no. It's obvious no. Your mum, the guru. I tell you what, she talked herself out of that one, didn't she? Because she she still still continued to be a Jehovah. She carried on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. um, I've always been impressed by the lady. She's got a lot of integrity, that's for sure. uh, But she'd been in it since she was three years old. Yeah. When they come calling on my nan after my granddad just died. That's how they get you. When you're in a when you're in a weakened state, yeah. in a period of grief, and uh, that's when they found her, knocked on her door, and said, "Do you want to do you want to see your husband again?" Oh, oh yeah, I want to see my husband again. Oh, she does. Yeah, that's a sad. Come and join our crew, and we can make it happen. Oh, that's a really hard one, isn't so, it? That's a really. Uh, that's so they got her, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so she was really the strong one. My grand, the one who won, not the strong one. I, sh- I don't mean like the strong one she was the devout one i should yeah, say yeah, yeah. in the family so she was more bothered about it when i when i finally yeah, came out nice. as she it were she was a nice lady wasn't she <laughs> no nah, she was a terrible old bag <laughs> turns out yeah she was always nice to me but this, yeah some of the stuff we find out about is yeah that's uh, history great. that's history i got but you. yeah my mum's good she's she's good she's finally knocked it on the head herself a couple of years ago yeah. after such a long time as, it, 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 I mean, it must be hard. You come, it, it, but that's that. You do feel that's kind of like um, uh, I, I hate to say this term, but waste of a spiritual life, like the potential to have some form of other uh, connection with your own spirituality and your own sense of spirituality is to have dedicated your life to this silly. Sham. Sham, that just like when you look at it from the outside properly afterwards, you must be like, ah, cringe. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I must hurt. You watch the documentaries. <laughs> yeah. Why do they cover it up? Well, I, I found, I find, I, I find some uh, really interesting experiences with Jehovah's in the past, or ex Jehovah's, um, various different people that I've met along the way. I met one guy, a guy called Ben, uh, who was. Uh, I I can only describe him. He he mustn't be representative of all of them because he was a real 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 idiot. But he was an ex Jehovah. <laughs> he had talked about how it was a load of rubbish all of the time, except when it came down to evolution. Oh, he had, yeah, the read blind spot. Like four or five books um, that were published by Jehovah's about evolution that he refused to believe it, even though he was like adamant that Jehovah Witnesses were all crazy and it was all about... The whole thing was Hocus Pocus, apart from this one bit. Apart from that one thing, because he had read books written by Jehovah's Witnesses. And I can never... You know, I think that there might be psychological scars that come from such an experience. it's interesting that would be one that one week spot. It is a... Yeah, yeah, but maybe that comes from... There's uh, certain people in society who I've met who are contrarists um, Mm -hmm. and uh, very much want conflict to... uh, Conflict... Resolvable conflict to be to happen, and I think he was one of those people. So this guy, that, one guy I know, Steve, to... who is uh, ex Jehovah's Witness, all well, is teetering on the edge now. Has been driven back a little bit oh more now because of uh, coronavirus and it thinks it's the end of days and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the fear porn worked on him, and oh. he went crawling back. Oh, poor guy! On Zoom to the to the, oh, <laughs> listen no. to this shit they shovel out. Oh. Anyway, yeah, he a couple of years ago he was talking to me and we were talking about he's an ex Jehovah's Witness as I say or was at the time, and he was talking about how the flood might have actually happened. Oh. So he doesn't believe all the other stuff, a bit like your guy yeah, with yeah, the yeah. evolution. He just but he's got this little blind spot for the flood. He thinks yeah. like the flood might be real. Just flood a story. Ju- I'm just gonna pick one of them cherries, not all yeah. of them. I'm just gonna pick one of them cherries Hold on to and that I'm one. gonna keep it for life. And I'm. I it's hope you odd. can understand. Yeah, I think it's uh, very human 
very human it's and i think it's all uh, maybe um a response to the psychological trauma of understanding the real fact that you've been duped mm. for that amount of time so uh, and I, I mean you when you leave something like that you, not many people must sit down with themselves and think about what they've what it all actually means because i mean it must be so depressing to think i wasted all of this time mm. for something which uh, now all of the people now i've said no to it all of the people who claim to love me will probably turn their back on me in some way shape or form and distance me that's the problem no yeah longer a, a Jehovah. when you step out of the club you see how cruel they can be these yeah. people who said yeah, that's kind of what happened to my mum when she stepped out of the club no one associates with her anymore that's that's quite terrible and yeah especially a mum's see quite how a great cold. Woman yeah as well. she was great she was good friends with a lot of these people yeah. went on holiday with them They're known them for years Quite I mean, fantastic. they'll be polite because she's such a nice woman. They will be polite to her in yeah. the street and like speak to her. Some of them, but a lot. Some of them will cross over the road, I, I, and none of them will come over to the house anymore. I can't believe a religion that has that amount of cold in it can possibly can be. be lo- and God is love. They say, yeah, yeah. God I, is love, I mean, and this is how they really treat people. The, 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 love the thy neighbour, but only if your neighbour is part of your in group, part of your rich, same religion as you. Yeah, that's yeah. not. You don't get to choose your neighbour like that. Well, Who you is decide a, is your neighbor? It's the thing as well. In um, in the place where we are in Cardiff, I mean, and uh, experience a lot of, in the Western world at least. Um, most of our neighbors are mixed in with like religions now, so it's it's almost impossible for these really narrow-minded uh, religious folk to find their little sort of niche. They've all got to turn up at the same hall every time, the same weeks. They can only associate with themselves and all of that. Yeah, it's incestuous. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 sad, but also it's the way people. But they go out and get new people. They can't. They experience. they keep the gene pool fresh by going out and poaching people. Yeah, yeah. No, I I I I'm gonna um, uh, talk with uh, people from other religions. Um, all through the next few years and from my experience already I would say that there's a lot of people who are really just there just because they really want to make a difference in being nice to other people they want to make a positive difference I met someone from um uh, who was a Krishna uh, just the other day who was just so lovely and just made it clear that all she wanted to do was to make people's lives better and stuff and that comes from such a lovely place but I, I can't see how that can work if you cut yourself off from other members of society mm. like that and your your neighbours no longer exist you no longer have neighbours then you're a little island mm. in the middle of these other and well, that's the thing it's so con- counterintuitive and contradictory you're not allowed to associate with these people until you've got them into your club so you, yeah. can, you can go and associate with them and, and trick them pretend that, that you're being nice to them to get them in and then you can be actually nice to them for real yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to associate them with them until they're in. That's quite amazing. So you got, uh, but you still got to go out and knock their door and say so hello. Do you think nice. there's a lot of like, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, hey, you're in? Uh, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, I think there is. I, I mean, uh, that's it's just a, such a baity type of religion. Yeah. It's quite amazing. And you have to dress up in the sharp suit and the and the short back and sides haircut. Yes, I do. But anything what about else? Men? What about the Jehovah's Witnesses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the thing well wow. appearance is massively important so you and women a, have got to dress modestly just to round this off because we haven't got much time left um uh, did you find religion again in anywhere else no <laughs> do you think what what do you think now through oh. your experiences of going through that coming <coughs> out of it and having that time for to sink in um, what do you think about it all? Um, well, I've got no time for organized religion, really, in general, because I think a lot of this stuff is ultimately unknowable. So anyone who says that they know for sure what's happened and what's going to happen is trying to sell you something, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it left me quite jaded and cynical, I suppose, in that regard. 
completely agree. But anyone who says they know doesn't know, doesn't really understand the question yeah. properly. So, you know, there's the, the cliches about spirituality and not, not religious, spiritual, like having a spiritual life without having necessarily a religion. I suppose, you know. I don't know where I stand on that whole aspect. I don't think any one of them is true. I don't know whether Hitchens is right when he says they're all an equal glimpse of the untrue. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's something else that science can't... There's, there's questions science can't answer. Yeah. And there's things that, we're, that I don't think we'll ever necessarily understand. And, you know, the questions of, like, what happens after we die and who are we really? What is the, what is the soul? What do people mean when they say they have a soul? I don't know. These are questions... Not questions for me to answer today. I, I don't think they're answerable questions. Yeah, certainly not current, questions that I can... Current technologies we got I to answer things. I think we'd always end up with someone claiming, to, at the end of the day, claiming that their version of whatever is right and all the rest are wrong and they know it for sure. And again, like you say, the knowing is the sign that someone does not know. Yeah. As soon as someone says that they know we something... We definitely know this for sure. Yeah. No, we think don't. we know it. We're pretty sure we know it. Yeah. But we don't really know. So we yeah. don't really know. Well, I can hear the police are coming in the background uh -oh. to take you away. Time for me to go. So, um, I thank you today. Thanks for turning up. Of course. And uh, I will speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.